Good morning from Mount Fredberg. Good morning. Guess where we got in today? We're on a, a road trip to Paramaribo, Suriname. We're currently about to cross the Burbis Bridge. This will be a long journey. We're meeting up with my friend Fred from Paramaribo. So, journey with us. Enjoy the trip. Let's go! So, this is the Burbies Bridge. For those who have never crossed this bridge, maybe you're from Linden or if you're from Latam or you're from the interior. The Burbies Bridge is similar to the Demarara Harbor Bridge. This one is new. I think it's partially, partially owned by the government and the private sector. I just pay the toll. It's about three thousand six hundred Ghana dollars across my vehicle. This is the Burbies River. One of the three main rivers in Guyana. It's raining at the moment, so the weather is not too nice today. Nevertheless, we're about to embark on an amazing, amazing adventure. As I said earlier, we're meeting up with my friend Fred. Fred is a tour guide in Suriname. Does bird watching trips for many international companies. Uh, this trip is more of a business and pleasure trip. Pleasure. What should we go in by? Why you don't shake Karina? DC on. She look cool, no? So on the right, you're adding inland on the Barbies River and on the left, you're going all the way out to the, to the Atlantic Ocean. This bridge is a short one. It's not as long as the, the Demarara Harbor Bridge. Um, I didn't check the length of the bridge but any five minutes and you're across so we're coming up to the junction if you make a right We'll take it to New Amsterdam. Of course, we're, we're going to make a left here. So heading down to Caribbean and those places, and eventually get to the border with Guyana and Suriname. I'm not sure what time is the ferry. But I know that if you're going to Serena, 
about half an hour to cross on the, on the ferry and then to get to Parmarbo it will be about, I don't know, maybe a seven hours basically all day driving let's put it that way so sometime tonight we will get to Parmarbo by the way, Suriname is one hour, one hour ahead of Guyana so Stick around, the journey continues. guys update so we got to the ferry crossing at the border with Suriname and we had some issues with the ins vehicle insurance my vehicle insurance is insured with hand in hand and you know they said okay the insurance should cover Suriname but it's not covering Suriname so that's disappointing so we had to return back to Skelland I went into a hand in hand and I had to get an additional paper to go with the initial um, insurance that I have so um, it's this small paper here which which covers Suriname so keep in mind guys if you're gonna if you're gonna drive over to Suriname with your vehicle whichever insurance company I think Ashura is a Surinamese uh, company so I don't think you will have an issue there as it relates to uh, being covered to drive in Suriname but if you're specifically with hand in hand especially make sure to visit the insurance office and tell them that you're traveling to Suriname and they will issue this paper it's for free um, so the downside is that we couldn't go on the ferry today so now we are staying here in Skeldon at La Grille um, I'm a little bit disappointed but at the same time the bright side is I got a chance to go to one of the barbershops here in Skeldon and get a good haircut so look a little bit more sharp for tomorrow um, in the meantime, I'll just show you a little bit about the area here. Uh, probably after I finish cutting my hair today um, at a barber shop. So we have one night here at La Grille Hotel. And then tomorrow morning, six o'clock, we need to be back there at the ferry to cross the Suriname. So, 
That's all I got. That's all I got. That's all I got. My stomach is upset right now. But, nevertheless, look at this. While we didn't get to go on the ferry today, we're here at the La Grille Hotel and Bar. And I'm having some dal and rice with duck curry. Since yesterday, I was craving this food. Really? Although somebody told me, because my stomach is feeling upset that I should not eat nothing spicy. I need to fulfill my craving. So, when I'm finished with this, I'll tell you how it is. If you're coming up to Barbies, you're coming to Curvetan, La Grille is the place to come and stay. Beautiful rooms, very nice food. And a nice atmosphere. I will show you some of the rooms and the surroundings after we finish lunch. Yeah. I got a nice haircut. Showing you the surrounding of the town here. I just bought a shop there right here. And I got still dumb stuff. Still dumb stuff for finding a barbershop. Right folks, this is the La Grille Hotel over here on the right one of the cheapest most affordable hotel the room is amazing I mean for what you're getting in these rooms it's worth way more than nine thousand dollars which is about 45 US not feeling so well I'll try my best to show you around show you the rooms and show you the nightlife here so this is the lounge area you can get make your coffee and tea here in the morning i've got a nice veranda here i'm not gonna try to go outside right. but it's open you got a nice veranda here See, not much the traffic and we're going to our room now what is that I want to show you the back here goes up to the yeah, I think it's occupied but yeah I'll show you back view here I hope it's not occupied beautiful view of the quarantine river obviously we're on the Guyana side like a bird and on a tree Looking across the Suriname I'm just on the other sitting side. here I got time Beautiful view It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful 
while you're watching this video just please take some time to hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel you're welcome thank you very much for the support and yeah let's get back into the video so yeah this is what a room looks like got a nice queen size bed you got a microwave you got a fridge you got a toaster you got a TV obviously it's AC and there's a lot of you know information about the menu you know laundry free Wi-Fi obviously it has free Wi-Fi as well um, nice little toilet and bath here and hot shower it's quite spacious and of course if you can't see there's a um, well, what do you call it um, a safety box oh. for putting in um, porcelain items so yeah we're gonna enjoy the night here and then start early tomorrow morning um, try to leave here by 5 30 to get to the ferry crossing there for six o'clock good morning from the La Grille Hotel um, we're gonna have a go again at the border I think this time I have everything I got the insurance started out yesterday I got my hair cut <coughs> and we had a very nice quiet night here at the hotel uh, it's 5.37 now so <coughs> excuse me we're gonna head across here So hey guys, I just meet up with a fellow tour guide, tour operator, based in, where are you doing? I'm based in Suriname and Guyana, in both countries. Yeah, and he's doing uh, the three Guyanas, so Guyana, Suriname, and French Guyana, French Guyana. Cayenne, Peru. Yes, yeah, so, and what we're doing is always with quality. We're making sure that the guests are treated the right way that a tourist is supposed to be treated. Everything in time, on time, and how it's supposed to be. And what, what tour do you do in Guyana? Oh, I do, uh, in, in, in total, I should call my tours classic tours, right? Together with eco tours. It's a, it's a mix of eco and classic tours together, right? So, uh, we will do stuff like uh, a city tour, Kaito Falls, you know, the highlights, each and every highlight. Our itinerary are based on what the client wants. Right, so correct, that's what correct. we do. We will adjust the itinerary to what you know, to what the client is interested in. Yeah. And most people are interested in our super, super. Well, how should I say the majestic Kaitor Fall of nice, Guyana? Nice, nice. So that's always on our itinerary. And the beautiful Georgetown City Tour. And then we'll go out of the the, the city to Esquibo, Santa Mission, beautiful nice, Linden, nice, nice, and nice. stuff like that. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I've been communicating with this guy for a while and you know coincidentally um, you know because we couldn't make the ferry yesterday you know coming here today and you know meeting him that's this no is a good 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 to catch up with you man yes, uh, nice definitely we'll put something together and yeah. you know possibly do the three Guyanas yeah, so, yeah we're ready I'll put his details in the in the description so if you want to do the three Guyanas you can contact him I will leave the contact in the description guys thank you yes <laughs> Finally on board the ferry. Now a wait for the minutes or so to Suriname. But then we have a long drive. So we'll get to Paramaribo tonight. Uh, Suriname is one hour ahead of Guyana. So um, the last time I got into Suriname at around, I think it was nine o'clock, uh, which would be eight o'clock for Guyana. So. I don't know, maybe um, 8 o'clock, so I think it should be 7 o'clock again. It's very hot. A lot of car 
cars. to um, get across the Suriname. This is the captain's deck up here. Welcome to Maikiri, Suriname. So the ferry is about to dock here. And then our long journey to Paramaribo. Looks like we're going to get some rain this afternoon. But nevertheless, the journey continues. I'm here for the bear, fireable bear. All she want to do is talk. It's rich. She don't want to block. She don't want to block. I got for drive plus block. Ross. <laughs> so we just, we just finished with the customs and we're heading to Paramaribo. Um, we're using this, what do you call it? Navmi. It's an app called Navmi. Let's. Let's see if it works. Let's see how accurate it is. Because it's, it's not showing any other road in this area. Um, and it doesn't seem like a very detailed map. But anyway, I'll try it. It's an offline map. Look at this guy. So, last time I was here, uh, my friend told me that this is how the road, traditionally, this is how the road was built bricks and so they still have it here after you know coming here three years ago three or four years ago still have the same style I'm not sure how old is, is the, the road in terms of when they laid these bricks or when it was designed this way <clears throat> Comment down below if you know.
skirt of Paramaribo. Um, our GPS is telling us we have 11 minutes to Amis guest house. So, uh, just showing you some of the energy here. One of the things I notice, which is a big difference, is that you know, in Guyana, everybody driving, blowing their horns, but in Suriname, I just heard one horn, one vehicle on their horn. So that's one good thing about driving on the roads here. I mean, obviously everybody watching and, you know, being extra careful. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to give you a city tour and show you around a bit more but um, once we get to the hotel I'll show you the rooms and you know the surroundings there. In case if you don't know you, you probably realize already we drive on the left side just like Suriname so it's quite easy to to come across and three minutes away from our hotel buildings 